I'm not exactly sure about the uh, in, uh, the 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 specific facts about Phenom's ban. Um, I don't think I even know who Phenom is, but I do think uh, the half that I do know, or at least I, I guess I know it. Obviously, Phenom goes a little too hard and a little too far with his insults, but I will say that this is the part that I've always been against Twitch's policies. If there is a chatter that is like fucking with you on a deep level, like fucking with you badly, right? And a permaban is not doing it, right? It's new account after new account after new account after new account, right? It's like that should be taken into consideration because like w what happened to him was like he had like a harasser slash stalker that kept fucking with him and saying some fucked up shit to him. And permabans didn't work. It just kept coming back. And then he snapped on him one day. And then that same user reported him for like threats made. Uh, he was scared for his life, shit like that. And then Phenom got permabanned. Like in my opinion, that's on Twitch, right? Because Phenom did what he could to remove this individual. Do you understand? But the individual kept coming back and bypassing Twitch's uh, whatever, right? His ban. And then Phenom snapped on him. And then Phenom got the permabanned. Like, of course, you have to like try and be bigger than the person and like keep cool. But as a streamer that's constantly on live camera and a live feed, right? At the end of the day, we're fucking human. There is going to be a level, right? So it's like, in my opinion, that should be considered. And even though I love him on kick, I do think he's probably sad and it's affecting him that he can't be on Twitch with his friends or at the very least stream. Like at least they should at least start, in my opinion, like Phenom's a smaller creator. I think he averages like 40 to 60 viewers. But in my opinion, at least, right? So I... I say that because I feel like that's why he's kind of more ignored. But I say that because at the very least, I think they should at least, if not, they're not going to ban him, uh, if they're not going to unban him from streaming, they should at least do a soft unban so he can still play CS with all of his friends in Discord. Because he's been exiled from the Discord, right? Because everyone's always live in the Discord and he can't be in there. So in my opinion, they should at least soft unban him so he can play with his friends. That's like, in my opinion, the, like if Twitch completely disagrees with me, they should at least give the soft unban. Like that ban that exile, like in my opinion, if you're like a a a, a platform that's like that's at the at this moment monopolizing the industry, like I think you should really like if you're gonna like, I'm not talking about like messing with your ban policy, but at least mess with the soft ban, soft unban so he can play with his friends. Is it a perma? Yeah, it's been perma for like nine months now.